Welcome to the video everybody. Hope everyone's doing well. Good to see you. Um, so today we're going to be working on the Axis Turbo here. Uh, the day has finally come. Uh, I've decided it's time to motor swap it basically. Uh, I have this crate motor. I ordered it this past summer. Got it this fall and it's just been hanging out here on the bench ever since for just in case the day comes where this thing needs a motor swap mid-season. So we are finally at that point um, on the doing compression tests on it. It's well, first of all, it was hard to start um, after the last ride there. We did not want to start. So I did a compression test on it and the clutch side is at like 85 PSI and the mag side is like 105, 110-ish. So definitely uh definitely a bit low on the compression end of things and um yeah so we're gonna do the swap and uh yeah i guess that's it also it's been uh i noticed out the clutch side it's leaking oil like crazy out of the y pipe so that being said like i was originally thinking i could maybe just keep riding it till it pops it'd be a great youtube video it'd be a grand adventure but uh that being said if it pops i don't want it catching fire so that's uh, a bit of a sketchy, sketchy thing there. So anyway, we're um, going to start working on it, I guess, here. We'll tear into it. Just like that, it's out. Not bad for two hours. I uh, managed to leave the turbo in, which is cool. Um, yeah, hardest part probably is, well, getting the bottom coolant line off was tough. This, that one right there. Um, also, the Y pipe is always a struggle. Um, yeah, so that's that. Got to get the clutch pulled off somehow. Um, yeah, basically got to swap all this stuff, the head, the that part, um, the clutch, the mag, the water pump, all that stuff swapped over onto the new crate motor. Now, a lot of you might be wondering why I'm doing a whole crate motor, not just rebuilding the top end if it has low compression. Um, basically, to put it simply, this way I won't have to worry about the crank. I know turbos are hard on cranks and wrist pins and all that stuff. So um, generally that stuff does break just as often as the top end in as far as I know. Um, and also I have the motor now, whereas if I was doing just the top end, it would basically be almost the same amount of work pretty much, unless you left the bottom end in the chassis. But, um, and then I'd have to be ordering pistons, rings, all that stuff, uh, checking the cylinder, probably sending it away to get re uh, plated and all that jazz. So just the turnaround with this should be a bit faster. Uh, we do still have some riding left in the season, so I'm hoping to get it all back together by the end of the season so that I can actually do some shakedown on it and make sure it's good to go for next year. Um, so that's kind of my reasoning behind doing the whole a whole crate motor um, rather than just the top end. So just kind of hopefully some peace of mind with it. So I'll probably be doing a lot of the swapping from this motor onto that motor off camera. Um, this is the point in which I want to take a little more time, just be a little more diligent with making sure everything's done right and good. And even with putting it back in, I might skip parts uh, with time lapsing and filming just so that I can take some more time just to put it all back together well and thoroughly and make sure everything's buttoned up and good to go. So um, yeah, that's kind of how it sits so far. And uh, yeah, not too bad. All right, so we got both the motors on the bench. We got the old motor and the new motor. Um, so we got... So this is what the uh, old motor looked like. This is the side that was uh, low compression. This one had better compression. And you can definitely tell there's uh, some wear and tear going on here. I'll actually go to the other side here. 
this is where you can see it more. So this uh, this side's looking pretty good, actually. You can still see all the cross hatch marks and everything. Uh, this side, not so much. It's uh, definitely got some wear going on. Oh, I'm just oh, wrong way. Yeah, so uh, definitely a little more worn looking than the other side. So good, uh, good we're doing this, I guess. All right, so the uh, crate motor is almost ready to go back in. I just need to take the primary clutch off the old motor so that I can get this bracket off right here and bolt it up to the motor, to the new motor. Um, yeah, so it was a little bit of a trickier job than I had anticipated swapping everything over. Mostly the water pump was a challenging thing. Um, yeah, the, there's a mechanical seal in behind the impeller there and that uh, basically I'll, I'll, I'll sleep better at night after this thing's up and running and I know that that seal is done correctly. <laughs> I'm, I'm like 95% sure it's good but there's always that little bit that you just wonder but uh, anyway so should be good uh, I guess uh, yeah so we have a clutch puller here somewhere right here. Uh, borrowed this from Sledding Buddy Nathan, so thank you to him for lending us this. Um, basically, I tried running it in, but the tip is bent on it. Um, it was like that when he gave it to me. but uh, And it didn't pop the clutch off, so we're going to do the water trick with it, where you wrap up the threads with Teflon, and then you dump some water in there, and uh, it pops off, hopefully. So uh, this is usually exciting, so I'll film it. <laughs> All right, about uh, four and a half, five hours later, just got to put the clutches in it. It'll be good to go. So uh, I guess once um, once I get it all back together here, it's uh, going to be off to Eminem Performance hopefully early this week um, to get the oil system primed, uh, the oil pump all calibrated, and the exhaust valves calibrated again. Um, I had them done last year. Uh, earlier, or sorry, not last year, earlier this year, um, once already, but uh, now we've got to do it again, now that we've had the motor out and the exhaust valves out and everything, so uh, yeah, that is, uh, that's basically it for the sled. Guys are working on the square body again this weekend, uh, just making the clutch better. I'll throw in uh, the videos of it driving from last weekend here. I got it up and going and qu quickly found out that uh, the clutch pedal needed to be um, given some attention to so they're just working on that now and uh, yeah it's coming along good Okay, well, that'll be that for this video, I guess. Um, they did some more ripping around with it yesterday, testing and stuff, and apparently it's really fast. So we might have to race it against my bone stock 24 valve, but um, that, that'll be in a future video. Uh, also, I just got in my uh, uh, Quadzilla Adrenaline for my truck, my, my tuner. So uh, we'll throw that on maybe tomorrow, possibly, and, uh, and then we'll do another test and see see how it stacks up but uh, pretty stoked to have that on there but uh, yeah so like I mentioned earlier in the video sled's gonna be off to a dealership later this week here hopefully I'll have it by this coming weekend and be up and ripping uh, that's the the hope and the goal anyway so uh, yeah if you made it this far in the video as always really appreciate it hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I guess I'll see you guys hopefully in a riding video soon
Peace. Subscribe.